G'day guys, welcome to another video by DFT, my name is Andrew Cook and today we're doing another episode of the ODST tutorials. Now today we're going to be focusing on the thigh plates and the pelvic plate. We'll deal with the rest of the parts in the next tutorial but this is a very easy one. There's two parts where we're going to take as a template so you can find the blueprints on my Facebook fan page which is in the link description below and draw them out on paper. Now the sizes will roughly be to your thigh, so depending on how tall you are it will change. Um, but there is not much to deal with sizes there, it literally is just going to vary on how tall you are. So once you've drawn out the templates we're going to go ahead and put them onto our EVA foam so we get that 3D effect. Just trace over them much like a template and then you'll be left with the outline of the paper template. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now of course grab a really sharp knife, um, don't use a blunt one, you'll know if it's blunt straight away because you'll be starting to see edges um, and you should be able to go straight through like I am here, as you can see it's getting some pretty clean cuts. You want to be able to do that yourself because if it is kind of choppy or not so clean it does come out on the final design and you will see it and people will judge you on it and yeah it takes like five seconds to get a new blade or wait, go down to the shop get a new blade then Oh god, is that a spider? There's a spider on the page! <laughs> um, and then having photos which the edges don't look that great. So, cut them out. Simple, easy. Nothing too hard. Now, just showing you what it should look like. As you can see, these have raised edges. Now, it just gives it a bit more of a 3D effect. Um, there's nothing too difficult about this either. So what we'll have to do is create a normal template within the design. Now you can do this by eye, um, you can do it by a paper template if you want, but really you're just going around the borders of the um, shape. Now you can just follow this tutorial, literally just look exactly what I'm doing and replicate it on yours. Giving the edges maybe a finger to two fingers worth of thickness just to really bring out the definition because you don't want to cut it too close to the edge, otherwise it just doesn't look as great. So mimic what I'm doing here, um, I, and you should be pretty sweet. Now, easy enough, I think we're like three minutes in or something, two minutes in, and already it's pretty simple. This is probably one of the easiest tutorials I'll ever teach, just because it's two pieces. Now what we're going to have to do is just heat it up, like again, nothing too hard. Now don't burn it, the one thing I always do by accident <laughs> is burn the foam. Um, you really want to heat it up just so it starts to bend itself. You'll find that it is a good temperature when it starts to set. Um, but you can definitely wrap it around your thigh to get the exact thigh thickness or curve so it really will just sit there. You don't want it sticking out or protruding on a weird angle um, otherwise it just doesn't look right and you need it to sit right for this because the ODST plates are going to overlap and you want it to stick, uh, stick as comfortably as possible to the body. Then go ahead and do it on the other part. Now as you can see in the background the thigh that we just did is set and staying in position. That is because once I had held it to my thigh, I let it cool down, then I ran it under some cold water, and it just seals up and condenses, and it will hold that position, so you don't have to ever have to worry about it uh, bouncing back. So we'll go ahead and do it exactly the same to that pelvic plate. And as you can see, it starts to overlap, and um, giving it that curve is quite nice. Now, with that template that we drew before, we have to go and cut it out. Now, the only reason we are cutting it out now once we've bent it is because we wanted it to keep, keep that shape, because we're going to be raising it, um, to cut it out when it was flat and then heat it up, it means two separate parts are going to be unidentical really. Um, you want to have them exactly the same so they literally can just raise. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it will in a minute when you see what I do with it. But so now you've got two pieces, you've got your flat one and then you've got your exterior. Now as you can see on the left, they're just going to slot into each other and we're going to raise them. Now the one hard part about this tutorial is this next part. You will have to use the hot glue and kind of hold it together. But before we get to that, we're just going to do the final template within the thigh part. Now, I don't even know what it is, it's just part of the design itself. So we'll go ahead and draw up this design. Now, you're going to have to mimic exactly what I'm doing here as well, just so you get that visual reference, because otherwise it is a very difficult shape to describe. <laughs> so, just do exactly what I'm doing here. Put it on, go out with your, um, go on the outlines with your pen, and do exactly what we did before with all the other templates and we shall cut it out and I think we just raise it pretty simple now the reason why we're doing this um, thigh piece rather than 
the Halo 3 ODST one is because the Halo 3 o ODST one is a really nice design, but unfortunately people run into a lot of problems with it um, being cosplayed. Thigh pieces within a cosplay are the hardest things to maintain because they start to fall over or they break. Um, so this one is going to be a nice one that sits on half our leg and is mounted with straps and everything. So like I said before, it should just fit into position and raise itself. Nothing too difficult. Now, hopefully you're going to be much cleaner with the hot glue gun than me. I'm trying to rush through this tutorial and record it and do everything at the same time is quite difficult. But yours should be really nice and clean and the images should slot in right. Now, one thing I'm doing here is I've I stuffed up. I've raised it. It shouldn't be raised. It should be going in, if that makes any sense. You'll see in the final picture what I mean. But yeah, trying to concentrate <laughs> wasn't working that well. So definitely the thigh part is raised but the pelvic plate goes in. Now one thing you'll notice is that it didn't fit quite, quite right. Now that is going to happen with anything you raise. So you had to cut off a little tiny edge and hopefully that should fix it. Yeah, no it does. So yeah, just give it a little trim. So as you can see now, we've got it all sticking together and hopefully it should hold. Now you can just go ahead and do exactly the same thing to that middle part and it should fit into place pretty swell yeah looking neat looking neat so as you can see it's all been raised and it definitely gives it a 3d effect um, once we paint it up it'll look so much nicer as well but there's a few things we have to do to f give it the final touches now I don't even know what they are I think they're like gun rails or something but just before we get onto that you need to make sure it fits your body if anything doesn't you're gonna have to go heat it up again and just remount it but right now that's looking pretty neat now, like I said, well, like I haven't said, but I'll say now, um, I'm doing one, one side. Um, I suggest you guys do both sides at the same time. That way, all your measurements and your templates will always be the same. Just a rule of thumb. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back and redo it, and it could be a few millimeters or inches off, and it doesn't look great. So this is a little bit of detail that we're going to be chucking on. I'm not too sure what it is. Like I said before, I think it's like a gun mounting position but it's the easiest thing to do start off by cutting out a rectangle of the foam make sure it fits on the angle and we're going to bevel 45 degree angles on the top and bottom we're then going to get a new piece of foam and trace around that then draw an outline maybe half uh, I don't know, like half a centimeter up and cut that out that's just going to act as a little groove on the top so now we're just going to go through and cut out little slices of that a few millimeters thick as you can see here and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and mount those on either side of the plate thing and it should give us a nice little raised effect on both sides and if it's too high just go ahead and do some final trimmings on it just to make it look nice then easy enough apply hot glue and glue it straight on now you'll have to do two of these because um it just has two for the design so make sure you glue it in the right position rather than dead center because otherwise you can have to peel it off and you'll have horrible glue stains otherwise it's pretty simple I can't really explain it any easier and I hope this tutorial has been somewhat easy enough for you guys to follow and hopefully we'll see it completed there we go yeah so it came out pretty nice definitely once we paint it up it should look pretty cool um, what I suggest is wait till the end of the tutorials or if you're watching this in a year of me uploading it go find the painting tutorial before you mount any straps or mount it to your body you do want to have painted this first we're gonna cover that with primers um, give it a nice coat um, give it some sheens and I've done a muddy effect but that's all gonna come before this part which is just, just the straps but easy enough I mean these are basic velcro straps that go under it and connect to your thighs hot glue and super glue holds them pretty easy and yeah it gives a nice effect to your costume as well the more straps the better I always say so thank you very much for watching guys Go subscribe, share the video, do what you do, make awesome costumes, share them on my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later.